Okay, so this is interesting. This is where the Dox... I'm here for the Ban Pamiang Doxia Festival. It's today and tomorrow. However, this is where they usually have it. But it's not here. I noticed when I was riding up, I went. I go through Ban Pamiang, which is just kind of like probably around the same elevation as where I live, but just over the ridge in Lampang province. And uh, this is where they would have the festival before. And so that this is was the stage area. And then down here, over, there's a road there, past that little parking bit, is um, where they'd have like food and things to buy and stuff. But I noticed coming up that going through the village of Ban Pamiang, that there's all sorts of stuff going on there. And oh, I bet they switched it. And so they did. Yeah, so now what we have is, it's interesting too because I think maybe the Doxiao is um, a little past the time in blooming. Usually this valley right way ahead would be, have a lot more flowering trees. Might have been, might have been like last weekend was at its peak, but they're still here and so beautiful, you know. We're gonna head over to the village. See down here, this is where they would have all kinds of bamboo huts and stuff, to, and selling things and food and music and dance and all sorts of things. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna head over to um, the village now and hang out there for a while and yeah. This is like, I've been coming here for six years. I didn't come last year because it was pouring rain and it's, the road over the ridge is so steep that uh, it's too dangerous on my little motorbike. Um, so I'm happy to be here this, this year. Anyway, I'll go over there for a couple hours and hang out and then head home. Okay, bye. Ooh, ton, tons of wind noise today. I'll just put my hand over that. Okay. A lot of wind over the last week or so. I mean, not wind. I mean, I used to live at, near Pincher Creek, my friend Heidi and David's place. And Lethbridge is similar, you know, in southwest Alberta. That's wind. <laughs> <laughs> so just like a, a light breeze for there here is like, wow, it's so windy. Usually it's very still up here. Yeah, just a bit of view of the, see a bit of the flowers. But anyway, let's head over to the village and see what's what. Okay, there's my bike right. Well, not the big one, the little one there. Ah, somebody my. my. Somebody come Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. 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 ไม่ไปไม่ชอบมันไม่มีนึงแคนาดาเพลงมากแคนาดาเมืองไทยน่ารักเนาะใช่มันไทยอาหารอร่อยใช่อร่อยมากเลยคนไทยใจดีนะค
Oh, and this is the stage they've set up. So I We're just walking through Bandha Myung. Uh, I guess the, the festival is all over through here. It's here? Oh. I'm just going to do a video walk through and then I'll go look at some things. So, when I was uh, doing my long walk a couple of years ago, I came through Ban Pyongyang twice, I guess, twice? Oh no. I guess I might have come through three times. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Um, and I had a shamisen with me and oh, I was so tired. It was too heavy. So I left it with Kru uh, Jam Nong, who were, who's a teacher at the school here in the village. And uh, it's a beautiful village. I love this place. Always have. Um, yeah, so she, she took care of it for me while I was walking for, I guess, another 10 to 12 days. Beautiful houses. Hey, so what do you Oh, the kids are learning some English too, of course. And anyway, she saved it for me and I came back and grabbed it. It was so kind of her to hang on to it. And then during Christmas, my brother was here and rented a car. And we came up here and did a little music workshop with the, uh, with the kids. And I brought a whole bunch of instruments. Because I couldn't really come up on my motorbike because it's too much to carry, right? But in the car, we just loaded up with instruments. And oh, the kids I have a video on my Goze website. And the kids just had a blast. And I had a blast. Sawadee-ha! sawadee mai ha And, um, yeah. And Mike was there. And he's amazing with the kids, right? He was just, it was fantastic. Anyway, yeah. There you go. So obviously, the, this isn't the festival area. This is just the main village. Oh, there's a shop in there. Yep. Oh. A look at that. Yeah. So, what do you have? See some ducks out in the tree up there? Oh, some vegetables. So, what do you have? I always felt like, oh, you know, if I couldn't live in Megampong, that maybe Ban Pimyang might be an option, you know? Find a place to live. And, um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> and, um, yeah. It's a little bit trickier, though, to get into Chiang Mai, so at the moment, Megampong is better. And also, I love where I live. And very lucky to be where I live. Street art. Let's see what that's about. But the in terms of the village, it's very similar to Mekampong, like the houses and stuff. The only thing is Ban Pumyang is not quite as built I mean it's it's on it's on hills and things, but it's not quite as steep, right? So you see a lot of houses that aren't kind of raised up on s pillars and things, you know. So whew, great houses. But it's, it's similar in its construction and all that. And it looks like... Yeah. Sawadee ha! Sawadee mai ha! Yeah, it looks like there... Like there's a few more coffee shops and little, little places to eat. Probably there's more homestays, I would think. So that's probably the village you know, trying to encourage people to come visit, you know. Probably get a lot of people, well, they get a lot of people from Chiang Mai and a lot of the motorbike bikers go up over the ridge and down. And, um, yeah. Um, but maybe they get a lot of people from Lampang, which I guess might be closer, I'm not sure. Might not be, actually. But the, the tricky part is that steep ridge, right? If you're nervous on a motorbike, don't do it. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, and here's the school. Let's, I'm going to be able to go up to the school and then turn around. So, what do you call? So, why do you mind? I got the time, eh? Oh, and there's, there's the temple. Yeah, you see, you see all these houses are on the ground, eh? Not really raised up. It's because it's a bit more flat. Flat ground. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Yeah. Well, here's some nice ducks you have blooming. And here's the school. And where I did my workshop would be right up in there and we were sitting on that deck and the classrooms right there there's probably like one two three or four classrooms there this is a small village school but excellent of course i suppose anyway so maybe i'll just while we're turning around now maybe i'll, I'll sign off for now and check in in a minute okay looky here this is well, it's Ban Pa Miyang, right? And this, I think, says Miyang. Miyang. Right. So Miyang is, you can see these pictures. This is what they're making, Miyang, which is a fermented tea leaf stuff. They put it in bags and wrap them. You see how they're wrapped? And they're kind of usually wrapped in plastic, but there's probably other ways of doing it. And see if we get it for those that speak Thai. Um... And you chew it. It's it's kind of like a thing you can chew while you're working or after dinner. It's like a little stimulant. And I tried it. I like it. It's good. But um, so ban pamiang comes from that. I I expect. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can see the wood here. A lot of these houses. <laughs> I can't eat right? Ah. Um, you can see there's wood piled up. In the cold, it can get quite cold here. So a lot of people, not just here, like where I live too. They'll um, pot, you can see some wood in there too. Let's see if we can brighten that up. Piles of wood. For, you know, for the winter and also maybe for some cooking and other things. But it can be quite cool in the winter. Like I find it fine because all that tent living and stuff. But um, certainly can, well my experience has gotten down to five. But this year probably didn't get lower than nine. So, well, I'll take it. It's going to be a hot day. As you can see, there's not a cloud in the sky. This is coming into the hot season. Some predictions, like Goon was saying, they're worried it might reach 45 to 48 degrees. So in Thailand in general, or this region, you know. And that would be completely unprecedented. I think maybe the highest it's ever gotten in Chiang Mai, uh, statistically that is, not including humidex and all that, is about 40.5, if I recall correctly. It's still pretty hot. Maybe I'll run the video as I walk in because uh, they've got some uh, musicians playing. Oh, see that guy's very Japanese. I'm seeing a lot of that type of jacket here. It's very reminiscent of some Japanese styles. Maybe it's reminiscent of Thai styles too. The design sure is I was going to say it looks very Japanese, but that's just hard to, s to tell for certain because uh, the imagery crosses over, you know? Hey, you probably can't hear me, it's getting noisy. Have a look at the phone. 
do? Oh, when I was doing my walk. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. You know, this year there's more Duxial blooming in the village than back in that other area. Other years, it's just the whole, almost the whole valley, you know, almost full of flowering trees. You know, just having a little coffee right now, and then I'll um, have to go. Uh, lovely. Oh, look at that big mountain up there. Can you see that? Anyway, I'm going to head out. I have to go pee, but I think what I'm going to do is just find some spot on my way up. Okay, okay. <laughs> look at me in the helmet. See, I got this cover, eh? This is clear, but I cover it because I prefer to wear the glasses. I find this the, the um, face screen confining, right? But, I, but it makes a, a really high-pitched sound which drives me crazy when it's up. So I cover it in cloth and A, it works as a kind of like a sunshade and also the, the pitch of the sound is lower. Uh, anyway. So anyway, so just on the side about the helmet. So yeah, so here we are. I'm just, I'm probably a kilometer away from the village now. And uh, now we're out in the hills and trees and you can get a sense of it, eh? Beautiful. Anyway, this is my pee break, <laughs> which you probably didn't need to know. But it's a good chance to see uh, just the road. The kind of road it is. Macon Pong was kind of like this too until like maybe the second year I was here when they paved it like a ribbon. And all of a sudden people were speeding and <laughs> accidents were happening all the time. For some reason, accidents hardly ever happen these days. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's a collective thing maybe. I think next stop will be, I'm going to go up to the ridge. Uh, to the, there's a lick up there right at the top. So I'll stop there and uh, give my motorbike a little rest. And contemplate things. I've been thinking about something about eras, like ages and things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there. It's not, nothing to do with Dan Pemiang Festival, but maybe it does. Because there's something about this poem I wrote about it. Anyway, I'm blabbing. I'm going to check in in a sec. Ciao. Okay. So what do you have? Chai. Hey, buddy. So this is the dog that comes visits when we go camping, aren't you? Yes, you are. I have a picture of him on my wall. I found someone made a postcard of him. Hey, let's see where we are. Where we're at here. Okay, we're in the ridge. To my left is Lampang. To my right, Chiang Mai. Let's have a look. Let's see how smoky it is. Pretty smoky, actually. Well, it's been better this year, that's for sure. There's a ban on burning. Oh, so what do you have? <laughs> so this is Lampang. Let's see if I can really adjust that. So I've been coming up here for, gee, I don't know, six years maybe. Um, also, this trail here, the trail right there, yes, there it is. Oops, kind of, that goes up to a nice little spot where we like to go camping. And sometimes I go on my own, but often I go with my friends on the marine. We'll have to go see soon. Where's Nambang? Look at that big mountain there. Okay. Let's have a look at Chiang Mai. Soi Chai Mai Soi Soi Ngam This is Chai Mai My village is down this valley here I guess Snakes down there Where do you have from? Oh, Chen, from Canada Canada Chai Chai But Chan Yu Ti Mai Kam Pong Chan Yu Ti Mai Kam Pong Chai Chan Yu Ti Mai Kam Pong 
ซปีครึ่งแล้วซีหรือซีปีซีปีใช่ซีปอซีปีครึ่งเออซีปีครึ่งใช่ส่วนไปอยู่แม่คุณปองสี่ปีใช่ใช่คุณจากคุณมามาจากเชียงไหม no 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 I from I come from s i s k e t s i s k e t oh nice not is of Thailand ใช่ใช่ my uh, my brother and my sister from l a m p a n g l a m p a n g oh nice did you go to the b a n p a n i a n g festival I see you I see you โอเคโอเคเมียงเสือใช่ใช่ดอกเสี่ยวดอกเสี่ยวบาทสวยมากนะ I love it โอเคขอบคุณค่ะแอนจ็อกตีค่ะยังไม่เคยไปนี่แคนาดาเลยคุณเขาตัวไม่ยังไม่เคยไปคุณคุณไม่ไปยังไม่เคยไปไม่เข้าใจยังอ๋อ I never go to Canada อ๋อไปไป It's so nice especially ฉันมาจาก Alberta not ด้อยมากนะสวยมากแต่แคนาดาแพงมากคิดคิดว่าชอบประเทศไทยชอบกว่า I love make Thailand ปีปีนี้เขาได้กลับเพื่อนแคนาดาดีหนาวโคตรโอ้ใช่หนาวหนาวใช่ for for half and a half year for and a half year you in here go back to Canada no not go stay here ไม่มีมีนึงนิดหน่อยไม่ฟลายไม่ได้ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ Yes, indeed. Here, there we go. Pretty beautiful. See a good dog. Okay, I'm gonna go sit here and ponder things. And in the dark. Oh, oh, shush! How did that happen? There we go. Okay, there's the mountain. I'm just sitting in here in this. Oops, jerking that down a bit. Okay. Yeah, so I was thinking, oh, the exposure is going to be weird this whole time, I think. Yeah. So I was just thinking, it's sort of a bit confessional. I don't usually do stuff like this, but I might as well. Um, like, I, I feel like uh, there's like chunks of time. Um, in my life, right? So, right now, it's because I'm thinking of like, oh, I'm in my 60s, and I seem to be focusing on making guitars and living in Thailand. Then I thought, oh, like starts in the late, the late 50s for me, and now into through the 60s probably. I think so. But the the pattern has been like a 10 year space of place and activity, right? So, uh, in say my late 40s into my late 50s. No, I don't know how to do this. No, I will just have to live with it. Yeah. So those those times we're living in the prairies, uh, living on native grass and working with horses and the travel, the horse travel and all that. Um, and uh, so that was that block of time. And then I thought, oh yeah, my twenties were, you know, doing a, a sort of a minor bit of s mental, psychological, whatever. Uh, integration with body stuff. Uh, that was, you know, that was that. That kind of got it started for me in a way, I suppose. Uh, yeah, and then, then there's a block of time working in film, and then doing a lot of composing for dance and stuff. And they all kind of merge with each other, but there's definitely these blocks. And it's kind of, I don't know, quite. I don't know what to say. Yeah, but it seems like now I'm in a, a thing. I mean, I'm hesitant to do the present, right? Because things can change so quickly, right? So I'm living here. I love it here. I never want to leave, right? We'll s we'll see. But part of it is, if I can stay here, then I will. And I'll, 
I'd like to continue working with the guitars and stuff, and that the focus continues, right? So, and within all these different f different phases was always a c deep connection with nature, right? So right from my middle teens, I would go, I've been going on solo trips in, in the wilderness, we'll say, or in the woods or whatever. And so that's been a, that's been a constant throughout. And, and in a way, part of this whole thing with um, these phases are w ways to uh, to to um, um, try to explore this deeper aspect of connection with nature more fully. It seems a little bit nebulous, but somehow I feel it connects. You know. Um, yeah. Well, I have something else. Like I have to think. I'm going to shut this off. I have to think about choice and path. Okay. I haven't f fully fleshed this out in my head yet, but maybe I never will. But s quite often, because I sort of at times lead a somewhat challenging life, physically, financially, whatever. And so many people say, oh, well, you choose it, right? You choose these things. And uh, I'm never really, it's sort of true in a sense, but I'm never really satisfied with that phrase. And I think people ask me, because like, well, why the hell would you do that? Like, why the hell would you live that way, you know? Um, it's not the most comfortable, uh, but of course in other aspects, it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, deep and satisfying, all that stuff. So let's put that aside, but here's what I, I'm thinking, I've been thinking more about, it's not about choice, like I didn't choose, it's more like the, um, the idea of the path or the calling or however you want to put it, chose me, okay? That's a different thing. Because in the past I, I used to say, well, uh, yeah, I guess I kind of chose, but a lot of times there was only one choice. And it's never exactly true from a f like physical on the ground sense, but maybe on a spiritual level it, it might have been. But, but more lately I've been thinking, no, 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 it's the idea that the path chooses, chooses the person, right? Not the other way around. I'm sure for, for that's just how, how I'm uh, seeing it and interpreting it and feeling it. So everyone else to their own devices, I guess. Um, anyway, so I think that's that. Uh, right. So I'll start out with the Ban Pimiyang, switch this to me. So I started with a Ban Pimiyang video and now ended up with, let's f talk about me. <laughs> anyway, I guess I try not to do too much of that stuff, so maybe I can be obliged and, you know, you're welcome just to skip through it. See this tree here? For me, it's a little bit iconic. Um, it's been here all along. If you look carefully, let's maybe I should can zoom in. Let's have a look here. If you look carefully, it's a dead tree. I mean, it appears dead anyway. It's hard to know what's going on underneath and the roots and stuff, but um, but you see, there's all kinds of things living on it. Like there's plants growing up off it. Other plants and probably there's lots of insects living in there and birds and all sorts of things, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so maybe this is a good spot to end this video. <sighs> Walking the path. Anyway, hope everyone's doing great. Thanks for listening if you got this far and ciao.